Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Chopper here to break down another NFL slate. We're talking about the first weekend of December, the NFL slate. So we've got a lot of teams in action this Sunday, a lot of value on the board as you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a comment below to let me know any questions you have about the slate, or do you like my bets? Do you dislike my bets? Anything that you're betting on that I didn't talk about that you think I should have talked about, let me know all that below in the comment section. I do always like to see your guys' comments. Uh, also, a couple of recaps because... Uh, I'm recording this a little bit after Thursday Night Football, where I had two bets, went 2-0 and on those. I had Ramondre Stevenson over four and a half receptions, and then I also had Josh Allen under 270 and a half passing yards. Both of those bets won. And then also recapping my bets from the main slate last weekend, I had three bets. I went one and two on those. The winning bet was Antonio Gibson over two and a half receptions. Losing bet I had, and this one was a really frustrating one. I had the over rushing yards for Travis Etienne. Well, Etienne only ends up getting two carries, leaves the game with a foot injury. Looks like he's going to be good to play for this weekend, but uh, just not a lot that you could do when you have a player leave a game early due to an injury. And then on one other was Jonathan Taylor over 13 and a half receiving yards. He actually finished with 12 in the Monday night football game. So I went one and two on my bets for last Sunday slate, two and oh on Thursday. And hopefully we have another good main slate on Sunday today. And if you guys want any more information, not just for myself, but all the guys in the YouTube channel, we've got our premium betting discord. You get one week free access by clicking on the link below. Zero risk to you. Get in the door, see if it is for you. If you like it, you can stick around. If not, you leave and it's of zero cost to you and nothing was lost, but one week free trial by clicking on that link below. So check us out. Let's talk about this weekend's NFL games. These are my favorite prop bets. For my first bet of the day, I am looking to buy low on Kenneth Walker, who to be clear has had a couple of terrible, terrible games in a row. Walker, the last couple of games, the attempts have been there. The efficiency has simply not been there. So last week he had 14 carries for 26 yards against the Raiders. The week before he had 10 for 17 against the Buccaneers. Without a doubt, these are absolutely awful, terrible results. But he was still getting double-digit carries in both those games. And we're not far removed from having some bigger games. Against the Cardinals, he had 26 carries for 109 yards. Against the Chargers, 23 for 167 yards. Against the Cardinals, another game against Arizona, 21 for 97. So we've seen him have good games this year. He's averaging four and a half yards per carry. And I think the line is a little bit too low just because of the results from the last couple of weeks for Kenneth Walker. But one thing, once again, that I think we could rely on as a positive sign is that even though he struggled with the efficiency, they were still willing to give him 14 carries last week. So it doesn't seem like his rushing attempts are going anywhere anytime soon. And the Seahawks are playing a very banged up Rams team. The Seahawks are favored in this game. So this should be a favorable game script for Walker. Aaron Donald is out. Matt Stafford is out, which should mean that there's shorter possessions for the Rams. And we should see the Seahawks getting the ball back sooner. All that put together, we have Walker projected for 90.7 rushing yards over on Odd Shopper. I'm looking to buy low on him. 70 and a half. It's out of line with what we've typically seen out of Walker as the starting running back for the Seahawks. I'm going to throw the last two weeks in the trash. I think Walker rebounds this week and hits for over 70 and a half rushing yards. Today's show is sponsored by BetMGM. And if you guys haven't collected your free $200 from BetMGM yet, you're running out of time because the deal we have with them, it is running out this Sunday. So this football weekend, the final time you could take advantage of the World Cup offer with BetMGM, where all you need to do to make $200 is you sign up by clicking on our link, you place a $10 money line bet on any World Cup soccer game, and that's it. You're going to get $200. Doesn't matter if the team you picked wins, doesn't matter if they lose. This bet is going to pay out $200 because the way that the the way the bet works is it's it pays out $200 as long as there's a goal scored in the World Cup and there's already been a goal scored in the World Cup. So this is a no-brainer bet. If you don't have a BetMGM account, sign up by clicking on the link below and you're going to get $200 at zero risk to yourself. The next problem looking at it is under 56 and a half receiving yards for Josh Palmer. And I think this is just a different situation that we're looking at when it comes to Palmer because he's had some big games as of late for the Chargers. And also, he served as the number one wide receiver for the majority of the last, you know, four or five games. But things are changing for the Chargers. Keenan Allen came back from injury last week, played somewhat limited snaps, but he was on the field. And I think we should see him pretty unrestricted this weekend. And also, Mike Williams, who's been dealing with an ankle injury, he's listed as questionable to play. So we don't have an update on his status, at least at the time I'm recording. But if we see Mike Williams and Keenan Allen both back, 
Palmer's reduced to a much smaller role where he's going to see reduced target share. He's going to be running less routes. And that's where I think that this prop line is a little bit too high because it doesn't really seem to be considering a potential change in role for Palmer if we're seeing Allen and Mike Williams both at 100% as the top two wideouts for the Chargers. So our projections are taking that into account. We have Palmer projected for 44 receiving yards this weekend. The under projected to win 72% of the time. So I like the under here, especially if Mike Williams plays. Let's take the under on receiving yards for Josh Palmer. For my final bet of the day, I am looking at Derrick Henry for over 84 and a half rushing yards against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles have one of the better defenses in the NFL, but it's because of their pass defense, not because of the run defense. The run defense has been pretty poor this year. They're actually 24th in the NFL in rush defense DVOA. And we saw the Eagles try to shore that up. They signed Indomitian Sue last week. They signed Linval Joseph. But at least as of now, it doesn't really look like it's paying off massive dividends bringing in two guys who at one point were elite run stoppers, but they're older now and maybe they're just a little bit past prime and won't be able to give the Eagles the kind of benefit they were hoping they got when they signed these guys. And that's why I like this spot for Derrick Henry is you just look at the matchup where the Eagles are so much easier to run against than they are to pass against. And we know that the Titans have no issue forcing ball to Derrick Henry, letting them rush, you know, 25, 30 plus times even in some matchups. And that's what I think the game plan is going to be for the Titans. They don't they don't want to risk Ryan Tannehill throwing against a really, really good Philadelphia Eagles pass defense. The Eagles this year, they are second overall in pass defense DVOA compared to that 24th rush defense DVOA. That's what I think the game plan should be here for the Titans. Just run the ball as early and as often as possible with Derrick Henry. And this is a fairly low prop for him at 84 and a half. We've seen some big rushing games for Derrick Henry. Got off to a little bit of a slow start to the year. Has been an issue as of late. We actually have him projected for over 100 rushing yards this weekend. We have him for 104.2 over at Odd Chopper, which is, it's the highest mark for any running back that we have projected this weekend by a pretty wide margin. So that's what I'm looking at. Derrick Henry, over 84 and a half rushing yards. So recapping my three prop bets for this weekend, I've got Ken Walker over 70 and a half rushing yards, Josh Palmer under 56 and a half receiving yards, and finally, Derrick Henry over 84 and a half rushing yards. Let me know what you guys think about these bets below in the comment section, but also before you leave, do me a big favor, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Enjoy your weekend and good luck.